Hello, my name is Lynn Allen and welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, I happen to know that when this video airs, I'm going to be in India doing a roadshow for AutoCAD. So I'll be thinking about you guys. I hope you'll be thinking about me while I'm out there. So today, I'm going to show you some really cool nifty tips about, about loading AutoCAD, booting up AutoCAD. I'm going to show you how to get into AutoCAD even faster than ever. So to do this, we're going to start off by just, I'm just going to double click on the AutoCAD icon here. And did you see that little logo that showed up on the screen ever so quickly? Well, just so you know, that logo, which people at Autodesk work really hard on, <laughs> does slow you down just a little bit. I won't lie to you. So there is a way that you can actually tell AutoCAD that you don't want that logo to display, that you just want it to go right into the program. Let me show that to you. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Now, before we do anything to the startup icon, I always recommend you make a copy of it just in case things go terribly wrong, okay? So I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to say copy, right? There's different ways of doing this and then we'll do a paste. And this is the actual copy right here, right? So we're going to make changes to this guy. All right, let's go ahead and go into properties. And what you're going to see here is you're going to see th this, this line that says target. And what we're going to do is we're going to move our cursor all the way to the very end of the line. We're going to hit the space bar and we're going to say forward slash no logo. And what that does is it tells AutoCAD, forego that logo, We just get me into the program as quickly as possible. In fact, I'm going to change the name of this too. I'm going to call this a speedy AutoCAD 2011. How about that, huh? All right, I'm going to say an OK. So you'll see there it is, Speedy AutoCAD 2011. If I, kick on it, if I click on it, you can see the whole thing. All right, let's double click and see what happens. Double click, no logo, right into the program, much faster. Of course, how fast depends on your system as well as a few other things. So another thing that I actually don't like about AutoCAD is that every time I, I open up AutoCAD, I have to tell AutoCAD to load my sheet set. I don't know if you guys use sheet sets or not, but I find that kind of irritating that I have to do that every single time. Anything I have to do over and over again, I don't like TDM, it's frustrating to me. So I'm going to show you how to get AutoCAD to automatically load a sheet set while you're at it. This is going to really save you some time for those of you who use sheet sets. All right, let's close this up. And uh, let's go back to our little speedy AutoCAD icon. We'll go back into properties. I'm going to go to the very end of this line and I'm going to do another space. I'm going to say forward slash set and a space. And then I need to tell it the exact path of where my sheet set is. All right, so I'm going to go get that path right now. I happen to conveniently have it open. <laughs> this is the path. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to say copy that path. Heaven knows I don't want to type that all out, right? And let's go back to the desktop now. It should be noted that as soon as I do that, it's going to it's closed it all up. So I have to go right back into properties again. Let's go all the way to the end. It did save my set though, which I think was really nice of it. I'm going to do, I'm going to um, put double quotes there because it does need to be double quoted. And I'm going to show you where you can find all of this information. So don't panic. It sounds pretty technical, but it's really very simple. Control V, right? Now, it didn't actually also save the name of the sheet set itself, so I'm going to type in AutoCAD 2011.dst. That's the actual sheet set, but I do at least got the path by doing a copy. Another double quote, so I have to, I have to put the actual sheet set name, the entire path, in double quotes. All right, I'm going to say OK. All right, let's see what happens when we go into AutoCAD now. I'm going to go ahead and double click on my speedy AutoCAD again. I probably did that twice too fast. I might have actually loaded it twice. We'll see what happens. And you'll see, did you see that? It automatically loaded my AutoCAD 2011 sheet set. Wow, does that make me happy? That makes me really, really happy. All right, so where are you going to find out all this information? Because believe me, there's way more information than what I shared with you. The easiest way, if you ask me, is just to go into help. And then let's open this, make it a lot bigger. And then I'm going to look for customize startup. You can see I was doing that before. And then click on customize startup one more time. And it actually has a really nice chart to show you all of the things that you can do with your startup icon. Really, really cool. So for example, you could automatically run a script file. You could use a default template file for AutoCAD to use when it starts that first new drawing when you pull it up. 
You could have it open to a specific view. You, there's all different types of things you can do. So you should really take a look at this. There's our no logo. That's the one that we talked about. Um, you could say no sheet set manager. If you're one of those people that don't like the sheet set manager and you don't want it to even show up at all in AutoCAD, you can just tell it not to have it display when you go in. There's my set for the sheet set manager. You can set a default workspace. There's all different types of things you can do. And you can have as many of those startup logos on your screen, startup icons on the screen as you want. So you can make as many as you're comfortable with. You might have different projects where you have different settings. There's nothing to keep you from making multiple startup icons, right? So that's kind of a fun tip. It's a little technical tip, but trust me, if you go to the help, you'll actually get a pretty good explanation on how to customize that. It's much easier than it sounds. I hope I made it sound pretty easy. Um, I'm going to uh, enjoy the rest of my week in India, and I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you so much for joining me.